What's up guys? 11 days until the due date. Yep. 11. 11. And Haley's already burping into the mic. That's how fired up she is. No, it's funny that you just noticed this one. And here comes the yawn, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I do this all day long. It's like I have like this acidic like <laughs> reflex happening and then like I'm tired. So it's like, yeah. I feel like I do that all day. And then when I sit down to do this thing. You just notice it. You notice it. It's hard not to. Especially when I edit these and I have to like cut out the burps. You know, yeah. go ahead and burp. Uh. <laughs> that was gross. Okay, let's talk baby. Any baby stuff happened today? Tofu is wrecking his litter box right now. No, it's Trader Joe's bags. Trader Joe's bags. The baby is pushing on my stomach. So, my foot. so you got to pee like every two minutes. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, but that's not why. It's yeah, just, there's, there's pressure in your bladder, right? Yeah, but there's no for pee. Yeah, because my bladder. <laughs> There's no space <laughs> in my stomach. Right. Whatever. I That's had the a idea. Small bladder before, anyways. So yes, I have to pee more often. But right. It's like shocker. Yeah. Yes, I'm still pregnant. I'm miserable, and we went to Trader Joe's. That yep. was fun. There were a lot of people that don't know how to park. Apparently, yeah. Posted one on my story. I mean, the guy wasn't even close. No, he literally split a line with his car. Yeah. And then some heathen, degenerate, filthy, horrible, horrible human being left their cart right in the middle of a parking spot. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. You should always put it away. I mean, it's just unthinkable. It's not that hard to just put the cart back where it goes. It's yeah. an attack. It's just lazy. It's an attack. It's lazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when someone doesn't put their weights away. It's worse, I think. Yeah, it is worse. Tell me a little bit about this case that you've been following and the new developments with yeah, that. Yeah, so... If you guys couldn't gather already, Haley is a true crime aficionado... I love this shit. Buff, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so... And the ones that college has always got me because yeah. I was like, I went to college and I went out a lot and I had lots of friends. And yeah. Like, I'm just like, I got lots of stories. Like, I, mean, I think I the got, thing that gets you the most, and you tell me if this is on or off, but I think it's when someone's potential is cut short. Yeah, that, that bothers me. Especially if they were like, seemed like a fun person, you know? Yeah, or like, yeah, I'm just like, what the hell? But yeah, I dive really deep into these things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I feel like I experienced a lot in school. And so, yeah, when I see like, life ending so soon like it makes no sense and then when the mystery isn't solved i have to solve it so anyways four idaho students university of idaho were murdered with like something like a knife like object sharp object unidentified um, sharp object yeah no i think they think it's yeah it's like a rambo knife or something jesus it was like a knife knife but anyways um there's like things coming out the latest thing is uh one of the room so there were four people murdered um, a couple, and then there were, and then two girls, right? Yeah, and okay. the girls are all in sororities. The girls live in the house that they were murdered in, mm -hmm. and then there were two roommates upstairs on the third floor. So this is a separate floor that they live on. It's a party house. They lock their doors at night. That sounds totally normal and actually sure. extremely smart when you know there's a lot of people going in and out of your house, right? Because you have a lot of roommates. They went out the night before. They didn't wake up till noon. That's not shocking. There were many days I didn't wake up till noon. Which is weird because you don't drink. <laughs> yeah, but like, I mean, I like, I mean, I stayed out till like five, six in the morning sometimes. Sure. Like, it's. <laughs> Which is weird because you don't drink. Yeah, and yeah, but I went out. No, like, I get it. I remember everything though. Yeah. <laughs> Other people do not. <laughs> um, and a lot of people made some dumbass mistakes. Um, and I remember them all. So hopefully it doesn't come back to haunt you. Um, <laughs> apparently. The roommate, one of them that, the two that were upstairs, one of them speaking out on her Twitter. And by the way, they didn't, they were not harmed. They were not, nothing happened to them. They were right. totally fine. Yep. They saw the couple come back. Yeah. Um, they were drunk. They talked to them. Sure. They went upstairs, went to bed. I guess the girls came home later. The two girls yep. um, came home later. I guess in the morning, at afternoon, at noon. Yep. They came downstairs 
to see the police where they're investigating. They did not call the cops. Right. The roommates. So somebody else did. Possibly the killer. Possibly the killer. And the new development that you were just about to tell me is that the couple, like the boyfriend, girlfriend, mm -hmm. were killed at a different time. Yeah, it looks like they were killed and then the girls were killed. And all four of them were bound up? Bound and like... Uh, gagged? Gagged, yeah. Oof. So it sounds like... Dog. Maybe it happened one, then the next. Um, That's creepy, dude. Yeah, so. Um, I, I gotta know who did this. Yeah, so I guess everybody that was like blaming the roommates, because I know they both went private on their Instagrams yesterday, like, so you can't just like follow them. Sure. Um, and then one deleted hers for now, probably because she was Is being the, bothered. The family, right? Or, or the girls that are The girls, locked. yeah. Got so it, one's still it. private, yep. one's like, you can't find it anymore, which means she just deleted it yeah. until this kind of goes away. Yeah. Um, unless she's involved, which I, it doesn't sound like she is, but. Well, she was in the house. She, no, they were in the house and they are getting questioned and stuff, but I don't think anything's pointing at them. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, they're going to get questioned. They, they're, they're, yeah. They're they haven't been questioned. eliminated as suspects. Sure, though, yeah? no. Nobody has. They don't have anybody yeah. as a suspect, so. Well, the other people that were in the house, if you were if you were a cop, if you were an investigator. Right. They're going to they're gonna be called in. They're getting questioned. Like, right. And they're like, I had nothing to do with it. And you're like, yeah. okay. Like, yeah, no. I'm pretty sure they're cooperating. Like, I'm All right. It. What That's if what it comes it out that they did it? I mean, we're going to refer back to this episode. Sure, we can refer to where back. We but can. Yeah, I mean, my gut. They're, they're still. My gut saying that they did not. Um, they were not involved, but my gut is saying they might have been involved. Okay, Josh. Anyways, it's a pretty crazy story. It's pretty insane that we know nothing else. Yeah. That and it's been four days. Yeah. This happened Sunday. I mean, I think it's so, a while. Look how long Gabby Petito took. Yeah, but there was like, the guy was on the loose. Yeah, I, dude, some murders like, take like years, you know? Yeah, but universities, they gather a lot of uh, spotlight. Right, but I mean, yeah. Sorority girls. No, you're right. Yeah. There's a lot of attention on it. I'm just saying like, there's a lot of cases that sure, go this, unsolved. Yeah, you know? but I think because, I mean, I'm shocked that they don't know more, to be quite honest at I, this point. Hopefully they will know more I soon. think a lot of people are kind of like, how like because at yeah. first they were like it was targeted no need to like freak out like everyone's okay and now they're saying like be careful like we're not sure what's going on so before it was like oh this person was after them and now they it's, knew them now it's like maybe they didn't know now them. it's like oh we might have a serial killer on the loose and so, by the way that the scariest individual on the planet is not the one who gets pissed at people that had wronged them or like my girlfriend cheated on me so I murdered her. That's horrible and despicable. However, it makes sense, right? It's logical. Right. The most terrifying people on the planet are the ones that are just like walking along, they see a young girl jogging yeah. down an empty pathway and they're just like, I'm gonna go rape and kill her now. Yeah, like, like that. just what was unplanned and they're like, yeah. oh, it's just kind of a crime of opportunity. Yeah, like the teacher that- I, I'll never understand it. Yeah, like the teacher. That, yeah, the teacher, exactly. In Tennessee, in Mem or yeah. Memphis, or Knoxville or something, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like it's just insane and I don't understand. Like, I mean, you have to be so cold-blooded, like- Yeah, completely like, holy shit. psychopath, like, sociopath. Yeah, so anyways, that's been um, what I've been reading up on. Yeah. All right. While I wait for this baby to come out because I'm really done with this. All right, guys. And I'm sure everyone can tell how by looking at my face. <laughs> Your beautiful face? Because you look beautiful Like my all the time. back hurts. I'm unfit. You're not unfit. <laughs> but let it be known That's I would okay. have beat all of you if I was doing it. There you go. Boom. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.